Good morning everyone. Now I am going to discuss about the problems on inverse Laplace transforms in that we are using the first shifting theorem. Okay, I am taking one problem and how we apply the first shifting theorem on inverse Laplace transforms. Okay, the first problem is find L inverse of 1 by s square plus 2s plus 5. Second one, L inverse of 2s plus 12 by s square plus 6s plus 13. Third one, L inverse of 1 by s plus 1 whole cube. Okay. Here I am taking three different types of the problems how we can apply the first shifting theorem on inverse Laplace transforms. Okay. I am taking first problem in the let f bar of s is equal to 1 by s square plus 2s plus 5. Okay. It can be split into some Reduced in the form of f of s minus a or f of s plus a. Whatever the suitable function is there, then we can take that function. Here, phi can be written as s is a square plus 2 into a is s. b means here phi can be written as 4 plus 1. This 4 is the 2 square. So, here we take as 2b, we take b as 2, then this 5 is 2 square plus 1. Then here, this total 3 terms, some of the 3 terms can be written as s plus 2 whole square plus 1. Okay? Here f bar of s is equal to 1 by s plus 2 whole square plus 1. Then L inverse of f bar of s that is equal to L inverse of 1 by s square plus 2s plus 5. It is equal to L inverse of 1 by s plus 2 whole square plus 1. By applying the first shifting theorem, by using first shifting theorem this 2 right outside that is equal to e power minus 2t L inverse of 1 by s square plus 1 then L inverse of 1 by s square plus 2s plus 5 is equal to e power minus 2t L inverse of 1 by s square plus 1. We know that L inverse of 1 by s square plus 1 is equal to by using the properties it is equal to sine t by 1 here a is equal to 1. This is nothing but e power minus 2t sin t that is the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s square plus 2s plus 5. It is equal to e power minus 2t sin t. It is the first solution. Okay. Here just taking in the place of s plus 2 write S only that 2 is the applying the first shifting theorem that is equal to e power minus 2t. Okay. The second problem. Second one is L inverse of 2s plus 12 by s square plus 6s plus 13. It 
is equal to L in Ors of first denominators reduced into S plus A whole square plus some B square or here S square plus 2AB formula 2 into S into B 2 3s are 6 then 6 can be written as 2 into 3 here B as 3 so this 13 can be written as 13 is equal to B square means 3 square. 3 square is 9. 9 plus the remaining value is 4. So that 13 can be written as 9 plus 4. In the numerator, here in the denominator part is 1 by S plus 3 whole square plus this 4 is 2 square. So in this also taking common 2 into S plus 3, that is nothing but 2S into 2S plus 6 plus 6. So here 2 taking common, it is S plus 3 plus 6. Now, by using of linearity property, write separately L inverse of 2 into S plus 3 by S plus 3 whole square plus 2 square, 6 is a constant right outside, 6 into L inverse of 1 by S plus 3 whole square plus 2 square. Here, it is in the form of, first, by using of first shifting theorem, then S plus 3, S plus 3 is reduced to S by changing of e power minus 3t. That is nothing but applying the first shifting theorem means S plus 3 is replaced by S. Then immediately we are taking E power minus 3T. Okay, it is nothing but by using first shifting theorem. First shifting theorem. Then L inverse of 2S plus 12 by S square plus 6S plus 13, it is equal to this S plus 3 reduced to S, that is nothing but applying the first shifting theorem, that 3 is right outside with the exponential, that is e power minus 3t into 2 is a constant, it is also right outside. L inverse of S by S square plus 2 square. Again, for the second term, 6 into e power minus 3t. L inverse of 1 by S square plus 2 square. Okay. It is equal to 2 e power minus 3t. It is the cos 2t form by using the properties of inverse Laplace transform plus 6 e power minus 3t. It is sin 2t by 2. Here 2 ones are 2 threes. It is equal to e power minus 3t into 2 cos 2t plus 3 sin 2t. It is the solution of the second one. Okay. Third one is L inverse of 1 by S plus 1 whole cube. By using of second shifting theorem. By using of first shifting theorem. It is equal to, that 1 is right outside means that is e power minus t. L inverse of 1 by S cube. We know that by using the property 1 by s power n plus 1 equal to t power n by n factorial. Here 3 can be written as 2 plus 1, n is equal to 2. So e power minus t into t square by 2 factorial. Therefore, L inverse of 1 by s plus 1 whole cube is equal to e power minus t into t square by 2. It is the third one.
in this just the function can be reduced into s plus a or s minus a form and then we are applying the first shifting theorem of the suitable properties of inverse Laplace transforms. Again s plus a on that function we are applying the first shifting theorem then a right outside means that is in the exponential form that is e power minus a t and inverse of f bar of s. We know the properties of inverse so applying which formula is suitable which property is suitable for that function then we apply that one only. Okay. Thank you.